You'll see Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. The summer humidity has given way to an absolutely gorgeous fall afternoon here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. There's Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air, and we are underway from Miami. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungabailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and it allows him to make some special plays out there. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play, second down. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Tua. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Two to his Alabama teammate, Waddle. First down, Miami. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on it and then let him run. He's got some space. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now on second and 13, Tua putting this out to the flat, Mostert. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. A big play there on the catch and run, 38 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Going to the air, Tungamailoa. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go. But sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Looking to pass, Tua. And his throw is incomplete. Chance so good, he's gonna be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. On second down, Moster. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? And he is going to go down. Back at the 
about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's really huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Sanders' kick is good. And the opening drive for the Dolphins yields. say they came out to be aggressive on the opening series Charles they didn't run the ball once all that passing it does get them the three to nothing lead I think what we saw there partner was a true definition of football balance which means doing what you want to when you want to on offense and in this case it was the they may mix in running the football a little bit more as this game goes on but this opening drive while stalled out it still gave them three points so now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on a national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now Jones. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Here's Tongue of Ilo to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the Dolphins are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's going to pull his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Alec Ingold taking it in from four yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead goes to 10 0. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it results in a four yard touchdown run. So an early 10 0 lead for them now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And it's about the 26 yard line just across the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. Figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys plays right now. They positive to happen and they need for it to happen now just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw and in this case that's exactly what he did found his running back let him create some space and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense looking to throw again on second down jones 
to the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they tried to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Throwing Jones. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. But dialing up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short, you're just trying to move the sticks, get the ball just past that line of scrimmage. Instead, they take the big shot downfield, and it pays off. fake here on first down and this is caught touchdown Patriots Mike Gesicki 25 yards for the touchdown and the Patriots have got it back to within a score good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone agree totally excellent bounce back tremendous poise confidence never lost and obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Full connects on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it all concluded with a touchdown pass to the tight end, Mike Gesicki. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally, I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. From the 30 on second down, Tua over the middle and complete to Waddle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. <laughs> off of play action, Tonga by Loa. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. That's to Waddle on the quick slam. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And will be brought down at about the 42. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. He'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. 
And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On the move past the 40. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice gain. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And incomplete on the deep ball. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Off the play fake. Jones. All right, rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Dolphins are going to have it here at their own 15. And partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Here's Tongue of Iloa on first and ten. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Play action. Now it's Tua. It's going to be caught by Waddle. Couple of Alabama guys there. Tua to Waddle for the Miami first. Well, they brought the pressure and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do because I was just talking with a coach the other day and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions even when you're taking some hits. Sometimes you have to be your own blitz control for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. Up the middle they go with Moster. And play to the 37. Seven yards there at a first down. Ten seven, our score after one right here on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. On play action, here's Tua. And that is incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a three-point game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 
16 yards right off the bat at a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Back to Stevenson on first down. They bring this one inside the 35. 42 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throw over the middle, taken in. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 19. 14 yards that time for number 14. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Mike Gesicki, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Well, CD, you know, anytime they get close to the red zone, he is such a threat. And there he is again already, his second touchdown of the ball game. And I know it's probably a little bit of a failing on my part, but you know I watch a game through defensive eyes, and I don't understand what the coverage was doing there. When he headed out deep, they should have adjusted and flowed towards him. Instead, they left him out there and gave him a chance to make a big play. And, of course, he did exactly that. His size, speed, and versatility makes him a top target in any game. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Tua sets it up to pass it. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. It's Kyron Decker who picks it. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Stevenson now on first and 10. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. That good for 19 and a first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And he's going to bring up second down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 75 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Two yards on the touchdown there as his guys are able to extend their lead. This is why a lot of play callers
Steelers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Now Folk for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll run right side with Moster, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Here we go. And this Here. offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Two are going to throw. Open man is Waddle complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. They'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. They run out of the shotgun with Moster. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Austin Jackson, first round pick in 2020. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Tua. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Moster is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. One more time with Moster. And he is in! Touchdown, Miami! Raheem Mostert, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are back within a score. Sanders on for the extra point. And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This will be fielded inside the five. And they will wrangle him down. A 
couple yards shy of the 30. The Pats at the line, ready to go. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Give him three yards there on the first down pickup. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They go play action here on first down. Open receiver here. Complete. It's Parker. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Second down at Stevenson. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Off play action. Jones. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. Touchdown, Patriots. Mike Gesicki on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past, over, through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot of effort. So maybe it'll open things up for some other people. Well, they better figure something out and soon. So that drives seven plays in length. And it all concluded with a touchdown pass to the tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Now a play fake. Here's Tongue of Iloa. This goes to the tight end, Eric Saubert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19 and they gained 19. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. 
Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now left side on the swing pass. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Eluding the pressure right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Two on a throw again. And that is incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Already down two scores. They're going to go for this rather than settle for three. They'll try it now with Mostert. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on downs. So an interesting decision at this stage of the game to go for it. You think maybe that missed field goal earlier had anything to do with it? If it did, I'm really surprised because usually one miss is not enough to alter your game plan. My only thought is maybe he got hurt or maybe they just understand that it's not his day for some other reason we don't know right now. But in general situations, you run him back out there and let him have another chance. To throw on second and 10, Jones. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And he's gonna have a first down and they get into field goal range here at the 29. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Jones on first and 10. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Off the play fake, Jones. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Tua, Tua, hit, and the ball is out. But I think a Dolphin was able to fall on it. Yes, they'll keep possession here. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Here's Tua. will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to 
Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Taken in at the three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots down the field. And they able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 108 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Here's Jones on first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. After the turnover, it's Tua. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Lyman knows the rule. You only get a one-yard buffer beyond that line of scrimmage, and then the flag is thrown, and he got tagged for it there. They're going to look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. On first down, Tonga Bailoa, a quick slant to Hill. Touchdown, Dolphins! Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins have cut it back within a score. Two are going to try and throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. New England's offense set to go. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. The last run got six, now second and four. 
On second down, a run was strong. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Throwing on second and 14. Jones. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 33 yards that time. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game as his guys are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point up and good by Folk, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. That time, a six-play drive, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaking up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. 48, 48, come on, 48, come on. Looking to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you blitz coming and down he goes. Anthony Jennings coming in for that outside linebacker spot, and he buries him for a loss of seven. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Now Tua. That swung out to Mostert. 
So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off play action. Jones. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take over here up near the 40. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You don't always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. 141 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They run once more with Stevenson. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Second down at four. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Folks' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last time out on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back from both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two of the Tyreek for the Miami first. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. To about the 40-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. You don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. This 
this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll set up to throw. He is going to find Hill here. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriot. It's 36. 18 big yards on that one. And a Miami first. Two and now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Looking to pass. Tua. Finding Waddle again. Not much stopping him in this one. And he'll be brought down at the 27. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Tua setting up shop to throw again. It's a short one here, completes the tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 16. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports second and three from the nine here's tongue of iloa to throw toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there, and it's third and short. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. He'll swing this out to Mostert. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Anthony Jennings picks up his second sack of the afternoon. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football CD. That's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he'll wind up losing yardage here, back at the 21-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit. A great read, and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage lost. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. A oh, pick there certainly would have been nice instead of the there and CD that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, 
You're happy to take him. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. come the Patriots. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Here's a sneak with Jones. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. On first and ten, it's strong. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. On their own side of the field, close to the 50, but their own side of the field, they only needed a couple of inches, and they were able to get it done. And it doesn't matter whether you're a zone-blocking team, a man-blocking team, gap-blocking, whatever you want to call it. When it's in this situation, it's really man-on-man, -man, isn't it? Who's going to win the battle? We saw it at the point of attack. Find enough yardage to pick up a first down. Give them credit for that one. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. 
This is third and four on the handoff. Stevenson, and he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Mike Gesicki, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already. Just one. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After you so they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. On for the extra point is Folk. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it all concluded with a touchdown pass to the tight end, Mike Gesicki. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now it's third and three. Now back to throw. And yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And again, it's Tugavailoa. Dancing to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Back to throw again. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. As many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Ready, 
They'll look to throw again. And a completion to Wilson. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began the play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. Two are going to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Moster. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Tua sets up to pass it. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Back to throw here. Forced out to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Tua buying time to his left. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Now this likely a must-have. Third and goal. From the gut, it's Tua. Looking in. Zone, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to be stopped shy of the end zone. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone, and it'll be a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The Patriots ready to get the football back. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. On third down, here's Stevenson. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. The 
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. And with that, we sign off from Miami.